What's up, beautiful people? It's your girls, Liam. We're getting blissed out with your Heart Based Community Podcast Series. This is number 22. I have my dear friend in India, uh, Dian Pasika. Hi, Dian. Hi, namaste. Namaste. We're having a fun morning, Leela, um, as Osho lovers and Shiva lovers, um, talking about malas, because I was thinking, you know, well, Osho really helped me to find my mind and bring me to the understanding of Shiva. And Shiva helped me to see that Osho is dissolved in Shiva. So I just went for Shiva. And then I was like, Dian was thinking the same thing. And he was having the same contemplation in the morning with his beautiful picture of Osho in the back. Um, and we're just divine uh, friends of this play and this Leela of life. And we're so excited to share this talk with you guys as an audience about Dion's journey, his awakening into painting, unbelievable paintings of his soul's journey with art therapy. So Dion, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're born, um, a little bit about your journey, and then we'll talk about painting. Yeah, yeah, my journey is very short, I say, because uh, uh, there's a, uh, every moment I spend with myself, and uh, getting more time to myself and I love myself and in childhood. So I, I took uh, but from uh, South India. So after that, uh, my graduation, I just uh, uh, get get to all the things and uh, come to the north side and uh, exploring myself and uh, room around all over the India. So then I thought Dharamshala is a good place to for a leave and I can enhance my work and I can explore my myself into towards uh, spirituality. So I I consider because my uh, journey started, uh, uh, it's like a very blessings because so many masters, I, I surrender myself to many masters and I met many masters, I get experience them and uh, it's a it's magical moments my life is magical moments and uh, now presently i'm creating the paintings also uh, getting a magical moment uh, and uh, today is a uh, hanuman jayanti and uh, i just uh, say that, that again shiva avatar and uh, hanuman is uh, our chiranjeevi and uh, we feel he is uh, with me and uh, he's talking with me and he's in inside me and uh... so good yeah that that connection yesterday i was at the uh, lakshmi temple and we had a chance just to have that beautiful celebration and i've been having a lot of white light um coming from hanuman's soul and so hanuman's hanuman's uh essence and yeah. something that really hit a home run for me in in my learning with the multi-dimensions of Shiva is uh, the cathartic side, the tattvic side, you know, and how that can, it can challenge our, our bodhisattva energy because we go through the, the bodhisattva energy with Osho and we come into this clear consciousness in the bodhisattva. But once we're coming to Shiva, we're being challenged by, you know, the drunk energy and the, the, the cathartic, powerful Shakti energy and the ecstatic energy of the bliss of Satchidananda and what we really are. And so I feel in honor of Hanuman's incarnation with Ram, you know, Han Hanuman was brahmachari, he was celibate, he didn't marry, and he was a master of his mind. And there was so much um, that we still have to learn about all the, the beautiful manifestations of Mahadev. And the reflection of how is it reflecting us in our life? Or how is it playing a role as we're ascending in our own awakening with merging into Shiva of our Jiva, our Jiva soul, our individuality? And so I, I come to that place where I'm, I'm learning more of this language as years go on. I forget and then I remember. And then my consciousness just knows everything. So I'm trying to be in that place where I'm connected to this beautiful place of everything with um, exploring a part of Hanuman. So hopefully you're having that same thing, that same awareness so that listeners really understand when we say we connect to Hanuman, 
we're merging from our individual identity into Hanuman and that bliss of super cosmic, like the, the, the cosmic consciousness that Osha was really trying to show us how to dissolve into. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Actually, we are all Shiva families and uh, we are always uh, vibrating uh, uh, the frequency, I can I can say that uh, vibration. So it's uh, millions of millions uh, 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 miles. Also, they can respond our uh, uh, soul soulmates, and I can say fellow travelers. Yeah. So uh, I think that's why I connecting uh, with you, and uh, because. Uh, there is a uh, shakti is there in in in, in air in uh, five elements that there is a shakti uh, the the processing is happening every moment the processing is happening and where i am getting consciousness i am seeing i am feeling that moment i am i am talking with you or i am i am i am doing some painting i am playing with my colors and uh, I'm I'm chanting with my guru's nama, and uh, mm. yeah, it's it's amazing. Mm. So this must be these little these little important things that we're reflecting for people that don't know that could be watching, um, are basically the inner journey, the inner journey awareness of um, pure observation of consciousness and flowing with that alignment with methods like chanting, methods like yoga, methods like painting. So tell us a little bit about your art therapy and like, as you connect to yourself, how these amazing paintings are happening. Like you have so many beautiful parts of your inner world exploring onto a canvas. So it's a, uh, this is a very uh, good, uh, I can say that there is a vibrations uh, uh, when uh, receiving some collective memory because my collective memory is uh, every 15 days is functioning uh, uh, full moon. So every full moon, the idea is coming to uh, my mind uh, uh, doing the meditation technique. So when the empty canvas front of me and I just close my eyes and uh, chanting my things and uh, chanting my chakras awakening thing, so then I realize myself, I'm a blessed person. So because I'm a tool of uh, uh, making a godliness uh, painting. So I feel, uh, I feel, so God given opportunity to create something, uh, beauty and beauty and beautiful. So there is happening, there is a first stage of my processing. Mm. So and then, uh, Every day, there is a processing in between me and the painting. It's a conversation. Mm. Because artist always conversation with his painting. So I'm conversation with my painting and also my beloved one. So the beloved one means uh, the master. So the master, uh, every moment is uh, uh, giving a thoughts, my conscious thing there is a mind is between listening or shows discourse and uh, creating the painting so there is a two mind is working so then godliness the moment so uh, collecting the, uh, the the rhythm of uh, colors so there is a triangle uh, thing is happening me my master and my artwork mm -hmm. so me my master and my artwork there is a triangle life my life every day so uh, that's why it's uh, coming uh, uh, all grace of God, grace of masters. Yeah, I feel like um, reflectively, I've been the same. I feel like the other thing is you took sannyas when? When did you take your sannyas? I took a sannyas from 2004. 2004. 2004. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a long time. I, so, my, sannyas, my sannyas I took in 2011. So we met somewhere after I think before or after I took sannyas I think it was right after I took sannyas we met and um yeah. it's just interesting to see like somebody from Canada born Canadian having all of these attributes and all of these samskaras from India 
and the consciousness of all the masters finding me and meeting people like you to reflect. And I just hear like, you know, your value for the master of how you're really processing your art is like yourself, your master, the painting, the consciousness. And I really feel like whatever Osho gave us to dissolve in is what I just, I go through. Like I always feel all the masters are there, but I feel like that void, um, that void of what the masters were really showing me and all the masters that have tried to communicate with Shiva at the end. So I feel like full circle in my 30 years of of doing the same thing as you, listening to the masters, adding it to our lives, using the methods, overcoming our mind. Um, but what are we dissolving in? You've done some paintings on Shiva, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done some paintings in Shiva. So uh, I think of, uh, in my uh, journey, I'm uh, comparing with all uh, characters, uh, like uh, myself, I'm feeling myself. So when I created Shiva, that uh, painting title is uh, Kera of Kailash. So okay, Kera so that means uh, yeah, there is a one postal address for uh, every few months. So we're just talking every, about yeah, every, your yeah, journey. Everybody. We're mentioning a couple of things there about so, your understanding with Shiva and your paintings. Yeah, yeah, my painting. Uh, so there is an experience in uh, when I am in uh, Srinagar. So there is a political issues. Uh, there is a, some uh, policies uh, uh, remaining. So there is a 360 some uh, sessions is uh, uh, taking a back to government as uh, some kind of. Uh, thing is happening there. So there is a uh, political issues and many things is happening and military forces and uh, even uh, even there is uh, uh, people is saying uh, terrorist also is there. So there is a moment. We went to more than uh, 25 artists there. So I felt the moment uh, we need a family. So uh, and the moment when I am alone, uh, so every uh, 24 artists uh, getting a call from every family is so then I thought uh, there is a family foundation is more stronger uh, to live and uh, conceive this materialistic world and uh, get uh, enhancing and uh, get get something uh, doing for uh, humanity. So like uh, people is doing uh, all uh, buddies came and uh, creating the painting there. And I thought I cre I will create something like uh, Shiva because uh, I am there in mountain areas and uh, I felt every day is my rituals. I went to uh, uh, pick up that uh, leaf of uh, uh, Marona and uh, take to, uh, there is one small stone I saw. There is a form of Shiva, Shiva Linga. So I thought there, there is a ritual for me every day. So every fifth, every day I am doing that ritual. So taking that leaves and uh, putting his head and uh, getting a uh, mantras and starting the painting. So there is a many uh, channeling myself towards nature. So uh, again, I created the Shiva. So that the, uh, everybody is saying, I'm all Shiva. Uh, I'm not a uh, like a... Uh, purely uh, uh, mastery of art. So I know uh, only the thing uh, when my mind comes to canvas. So that that is happening. So I am not full uh, ready to f first. I am not ready to do what I am doing. I am just come and stand in front of my uh, canvas. I am just creating that Shiva. So again, I am creating Shiva. So Shiva is a form, getting a form. Then I thought uh, Shiva is already there. Shakti also need because you know, this universal uh, working on Shakti. So I I just introduced Ma Durga again. So there, there is a Durga is came and uh, Shiva is already there. Though there is a light and sound. So when the light and sound is there, Ganga also need water. So the, the, there is a five elements again came. So Ganga water is came. So then uh, uh, there is a three people is already there. We need a, some uh, cosmic energy like a Ganesha. So so we call, uh, I, I introduced Ganesha picture there. So there is a uh, Ganesha came and uh, there is a family. 
So again, Kartikeya. So there is a common with Shiva family. So we are all we are all Shiva family. We are all Shiva family. And uh, in uh, in in uh, I can say many masters say there is awakening only one moment. There is uh, uh, you can feel uh, you are there the moment. So when I complete that painting, I just uh, see my painting. I'm my tears is not going. To Happen. and I am smiling also I am, I am laughing my tears also is coming so there is a uh, in in the Anand Bashwa so there is a uh, tears of uh, uh, glory of uh, uh, moment so I received the blessings from masters mm, so beautiful and the reflections of how you came into that painting but how you were in a terrible situation um, in order to open up a gathering or communing with other humans. I think that that's a great significance of why we do art. It's a therapy to heal and it's a therapy to move our life experiences moment to moment um, with what life is offering us with the struggle of life itself. So I think that that's a really great um, indication of, you know, why art can heal because it takes us out of the past and it helps us to move life into action like Shakti. Shakti is the action and Shiva is just the beingness, the non, non-movement, non non-doing, the nothing. So I feel I very, very honored to continue to learn. And um, now that we've been friends for so long and finally talking, like there's been so many pieces of your work um, and reflecting your Osho Sanyash you took in 2004, you said? Uh, four, four, 2004, 2004, yeah. How did that happen? Uh, actually, uh, I take take sannyas. Uh, it's uh, it's like a, uh, every uh, body is uh, seeing. Uh, when I went to first time, uh, met uh, some of uh, a group session is happening in uh, Bhopal. So that moment, uh, I went with one of friend uh, is Osho disciple. So uh, I just saw uh, there is all dancing and music and then getting stop and get sitting silence uh, then chanting so i thought uh, this is a ry- rhythm of uh, my body tuning so i can tune myself uh, how can i can express myself so uh, this, uh, this is the uh, med- meditation like uh, it's like a guitar you can you can play uh, as much you can you can go into deeper so uh, at the moment, I thought, okay, this is a nice uh, thing is happening. So there is a three days, I'm the same status of mind. So everybody is uh, smiling or everybody is uh, crying or everybody is sad. And my my uh, face always keeps smiling. So even uh, after that, I felt, so I need some uh, guidance for myself to continue spiritual path. So then I reading uh, Osho's books and uh, listening Osho's discourse. So uh, then uh, I get the uh, <laughs> he's love. He is uh, he's full of love. He's, he's just full of love. Just yeah. an ocean of love. Um, and a mystery too, because uh, what he was actually saying, he clearly had the opportunity to really find that middle way to convey what happened to him create methods to help us to reflect it and then to keep ourselves um, mastering the mind. I, I love his techniques. His, his The first time I did Osho's uh, diam, uh, dynamic meditation, my life had been through so much um, awakening with Shiva at age 19, but I didn't know it was Shiva and I knew it was God, but I had things around me like Ganesh and Buddha and I was born Christian, and then I had a picture of Krishna and Radha. And there was a direct message from um, Mahadev, which I understand now, but at that time, I just thought it was God, right? And um, there was enough things opening. My life changed at that time, but a lot of immaturity because I didn't know my mind and I didn't know all the habits that I had accumulated from my teachers, from my parents, from the world. And... 
I, it created more karmas unknowingly because I was unconscious. And then coming to Osho and Osho finding me through so many things, rapid energy just kept coming to my life. And then like, I'm like, okay, who is this Osho? <laughs> Osho, 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 Osho. Like there's so much Osho everywhere. And I'm like, okay, I can't ignore this. I'm like, and it it just naturally happened where um, my body was going through all the meditations, even without practicing, even without knowing. And so I'm like, oh, this is powerful. He's powerful. He's a genius. But my consciousness that I got connected with Krishna knew, right? So whatever I did in my journey with Krishna and my journey with ISKCON and um, all of my brokenness of not knowing my mind, Osho opened that door. The first time I did dynamic, I saw my mind. And I was like, I'm not that? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, and, and it literally like, cause he, he, he put so much, I couldn't call it science because a lot of people like the science of self-realization, he put so much of his wisdom body into music, mathematics and meditation and using music and meditation as an amazing tool to show us truth. Yes. And the Shunya of Shiva I was experiencing in my bodhisattva, but the Zorba that Osho created as Zorba, the drunk, was Shiva. So it was really Shiva, you know? Everything, Zorba the Buddha, like, is really a Shiva, um, but it's still, you know, our processing of inviting that awareness, because Osho gave us the gateway. He's like, I am the gate. He is the gate. Yeah. He's the beautiful gate. Here, open the doors and explore yourself. The reality is the beauty of mastering yourself and trusting every day, every second, when you fall, when you have nothing, when something goes wrong, then it goes right. And then you start to see, oh, I'm the master of this. That's where Osho played the role as my best friend. And I just bow yeah. to him in so much love and tears that he found me from the universe and that all of the work that he did, especially on began buying Tantra and Shiva meeting me in meditation and offering me a Tushul, I knew I had my final master in Shiva. But I know the methods that Osho has helps everybody understand Shiva. Yeah. yeah. In, in the modern age, in 2023, we have Google Baba, we have all this stuff. I'm like, Shiva is so vast now to see his full multi dimensions, to see every second um we have so much you know to be thank thankful for and to see like from the time of immortality of shiva now to the time of our conditioning how to recognize that we're immortal how do we recognize now because we're in kali yoga we really needed osho we needed osho yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and you've done some painting uh. with osho too uh, uh, uh actually i have a, uh, i think <laughs> osho is a, a, a biggest master we need a more time to listen listen to him because now when he is introducing my my life uh, the my age is uh, almost uh, 28 something so i i felt when i am listening osho so, uh, we need more and more life to listen listen him and uh, conceiving uh, his thoughts uh, in our meditation and uh, then only we'll get the uh, the path because you now osho is not a one dimension it's a multiple dimension it's a diamond it's it's a diamond it's so shiva. Because because honestly like the multi dimensions of shiva was osho osho was so multi dimensional but the interesting thing is i don't I don't label Osho as Shiva. I, I label the aspect of understanding what Osho taught. He's dissolved in. Osho never said that yeah, he's anything. Yeah. He's never born, never died. Same. Shiva. Yeah. Never had parents, but he had parents. So we can't identify Osho as Shiva. We can identify Shiva creating Osho and Osho dissolving into Shiva. And then I humble myself through, yes, my story is Leanne. 
Leanne, who is Latika Devi, who is Ma Premira, who is Shakti Devi now. You know, like how many lives we get to live in one life to remember how many lives we've been doing this. Yes. <laughs> so there, there is a one more thing is happening. So I think uh, you also uh, know the uh, because no master uh, always say you just I'm just showing uh, path. Don't uh, uh, hold on my finger. You just just let go. You just go. And uh, when I am totally surrendered to myself, then I thought uh, the Vosho given that there is a two beach mantra for me. One is uh, surrenderness. So surrender to whatever I am. I am front of my. I am seeing because my name is Dhyan Pasika. Pasika means witness. So witness and uh, watcher. So. Uh, meditatively watcher so whatever i am seeing so i am i am down to earth those who created for me everything everything every moment so surrender to come to myself so there is a acceptance though accept the thing whatever the happening is there so because now we are all living in 21st century and uh, we need, uh, we are in ma uh, materialistic world. So people need prosperity. So prosperity comes uh, uh, money, uh, not I can say money. Yeah, money we need, but uh, there is a one more thing. Uh, uh, we have that courage to receive. So there is a, the first question because now I ask many people in, in my friend circle and many even my uh, exhibition hall, when people is audience is coming and I'm just asked to people, when God's friend of you, uh, what are you uh, going to offer him or you getting blessing to him? So there are uh, no, no answer, no question, no nothing, nothing. They, uh, they are already considered that, that that thing is not happening. For me, so, I have to say the same thing for what you're saying. The the true the true awakening when you're dissolving into Shiva is a conversation. It's a dialogue. That's why there's a dialogue always with Parvati and Shiva. When you're really there and you're in Samadhi and you merge into Shiva and you know you're in Shiva, you're in his bliss, you're in his love, and he is one, you are one in Shiva, you're just having a dialogue. So for me, I think our constant yeah. dialogue that we're having every day, just invite that awareness that you're not yes. alone. You're never alone. The aloneness, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The aloneness, the aloneness is just an opportunity to listen deeper to Shiva yeah. and to yeah. recognize that we are a part of his dream. We are we're just a part of the cells. We're part of this feeling of observing the mind, becoming a master, becoming a student of Shiva constantly, a student of life. Yeah. Shiva is life, is life, is a beautiful aspect of life. And you watch the Shiva Mahapurana and you just look, Shiva is there and everything is Leela. Some people have a power, some people have gold, some people are Rakshas and everybody's at war and they're always learning how to come together to sacrifice. So let's talk so, a little bit uh, about your paintings. We have only about four minutes left, um, but I think it's yeah. a good start. We can get to start to share something wonderful about your journey. Um, I would love for people, our listeners, because we're just being open and heart-based about our stories and reflecting each other, um, that they can look at your art and they can maybe message you and maybe have a dialogue with you and hear more about the beauty of art therapy. Are you teaching any classes of art or you just paint? Do you ever teach? Uh, I just paint because now there is a, uh, I need more time because now 24 hours is very less for me. Because now almost, almost all 20, 21 hours I'm doing, keep doing creating paintings. So there is a two hours I will get sleep. And uh, then again, one hour is my body exercise. So then I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 20 to 21 hours only creating, only the mind is happening 
creation only. So this time I am coming to a very big subject for uh, all humans. Uh, there is a Devi. So uh, because now we are uh, living in uh, Ram Raj. Because now uh, in India is everybody is thinking uh, Rama. Uh, when Rama is there, there is a Ram Raj. Ram Rajya means there is this prosperity and everything is well and every, every, everything is there. So uh, everything is there means there, there is a ma missing, mother missing, ma, matutva, matutva. So uh, the compassion, compassion is missing. So I am just bringing my next uh, series of painting uh, in compassion and uh, peace and uh, 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 Shiva love because you know, Shiva is uh, uh, is is having a, the love energy and uh, the cosmic energy is totally different because uh, pr presently I am in that mode I am uh, I am coming to uh, good uh, good vibration of Shiva's paintings mm -hmm. so that is my method to everyone mm, wonderful I love it I'm so grateful for you. First of all, I want to say thank you. We had the opportunity to finally get through this, even though we had a little interruption. I'll fix that in the editing. Um, I honor you as a soul brother, as a soul friend, and that we finally made it here. It's just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And th thank you so much. Thank you so much giving you. Uh, actually, uh, this is a very good conversation. So, and because now uh, I'm very special thanks to this uh, technology. So, because... Uh, uh, I thought you, uh, you just think uh, 30 years before you, uh, you get burn and uh, after, uh, so 100 years before we, we were not able to touch people like this because no, this is a technology and again I am Google Baba and uh, Internet Baba is uh, <laughs> Shiva, Har Shiva, Shiva. Har Har Mahadev. So on that note, har, man, har Har Mahadev. Har Har, har, har Mahadev. <laughs> We have so much to learn, so much to be grateful for. You inspire me to do more art. I think that we all need art therapy to get through our emotions. So if you're out there, watch, please look at Dian's paintings, look at his work, be inspired to use your emotions in a positive way. And more coming soon with Plistel. This is our podcast 22 with Dian. See you soon, guys. Namaste, Dian. Namaste. Bye. Bye.